What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we are going to do a deep dive test into Ultimate Gaelic. I know he's a really popular champion and I don't know why. I Personally, I feel like he's not even that good. But we're going to try and test him out today. Um, I'm going to say right now he's not great for Arena. We are going to try and use him in Spider because he is a HB Burn champion and try him in a dragon run, sort of the normal stages, because he's I don't feel like he's hes strong enough to carry in hard, but we will test him out and see if we can get some good use out of him. I mean, he's a really cool looking champion. I really, I'm digging the double axes and the purple hair. It's not, it's not my favorite, but it's all right. Uh, but yeah, I wish he was a little bit more green though. He's a bit pale. Um, needs to go in the, spend some more time in the sun. But yeah, but he's, still we'll see if we can get some use out of him so um i've gone for like a mixture of sets we've got some crawl we've got some speed and we've got some accuracy it's more about getting stats on him but it's nice to get some extra attack because he is an attack based champion go through every single piece of gear so substats we're looking for primary substats should be looking for our speed and accuracy and attack percentage and then crit rate and crit damage. I've gone for a bit more of a, a nuki build. I mean, he's got some pretty good gear on him. Uh, gloves, we've gone for crit damage. We've gone for attack percentage on the chest. Speed on the boots, because we do want him to be fast and get loads of turns with those HP burns. Then we've got HP on the ring, just to give him a little bit of survivability. Uh, crit damage on the amulet with a triple roll in accuracy. And then we've got Accuracy Banner as well, just because I do want to make sure that I do land those HP burns. 43k HP, solid. That is going to give him a decent amount of survivability. 4.1k uh, attack, 2.5k defense. So naturally, he's quite tanky on the defense side. Pretty fast at 231 speed, 108 crit rate, and 276 crit damage. A little bit overkill. Um, and then 341 accuracy. So let's go through his skills. Passive. Brush it off. I like it. Brush it off. Um, fully heals this champion and instantly removes stun debuffs whenever placed a stun debuff on this champion. So it's on a three turn cooldown. So you can't just keep spamming it. Um, there's not too many stun champions in the game, but it is a nice to have. It's a shame, like being an epic, I feel like this should include a few more forms of CC, like freeze, sleep, just a little bit more, just to make him a bit more viable for arena. Uh, A3, burning rage. Attacks all enemies two times. Each hit has a 50% chance of placing a HP burn debuff for two turns. If this champion has increased uh, buff, each hit will also have a 75% chance of decreasing the turn meter by 20% if the target is under a HP uh, burn debuff. So this is really, really frustrating. Um, you know, it's a 50% chance. Like, so it is a double hit. So there's a pretty good chance you can land HP burn, but it's very RNG. Um, really, really frustrating. The chances of being able to do that are difficult. Plus, he needs to have an increased attack buff on him. So that means we need to bring in someone like Arbiter to make sure that we do land those HP burns. So it is really, really frustrating. He is an epic as well. And I feel like they should just tweak that bit of his kit. I think he should be 100% chance or at least 75 if they want to do that. And just remove the increased attack buff. His A2, Crushing Hopes. Uh, attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance, again with the 50% chance of placing HP burn debuff on the target for two turns. If this champion is under an increased attack buff, decreases the turn meter by 25% and places um, a 50% chance increase attack buff on this champion for two turns if the attack is a critical hit. So it means that we do need to have crit rate on him. We need to make sure that we're pushing back turn meter, especially if we're going to be using him for spider. So it's a little bit annoying. I just feel that you know, so we're having to bring in Arbiter here 
to do this increased attack for his AoE. And I just feel that what they should do is, you know, either he's just going to put out increased attack here or here, or just remove it. Because it just, it's a very strange condition to have just for him to land a HP burn or to push back Termia as an epic champion. Like there's rares that are, you know, like Coldheart is better than Ulmer Gaelic, in my opinion. Like she can just do so much and there's no condition to it. She just does it. So A1, Fury Slash, attacks one enemy. It's a 50% chance of placing a HP burn debuff on the target for two turns if this champion is under an increased attack buff. Again, ah, oh, just, it just, I don't know, just drive me nuts. Um, fills his champion's um, turn meter by 10% if the attack is a critical hit. Fills his champion's turn meter by 5% if the attack is not. So he's just going to get a little bit of a turn meter boost. So it means that he can sort of get away with not having so much. Um, he doesn't need to be that fast. He is boosting himself a lot with his own turn meter fill. Uh, blessing i've gone for crushing rend um you know it's so good to have on him just means that we're going to do extra damage um i don't really feel like there's much else you could go for uh, incinerate is not good for arena and it's just pointless um also i just feel like there's not really much else we could go for i mean cruelty would be nice if you want him to be like a more supportive role so it just means that the rest of your allies are going to do more damage um but crushing rend means that we are going to do more damage so also masteries so i've not fully mastered him and it's because i honestly don't think he's worth it um if you were going to take masteries you definitely want to take master hexa um just because it's got it's going to extend our hp burns and because they're so conditional to land them we do want to try and land them for at least three turns so that's going to help a lot sniper as well is essential it's going to give us an extra five percent chance to try and land that hp burn um i would probably go into war masters i'm just gonna see if i can find another champion who i've got masteries for so you can see what they should look like on gaelic all right guys i couldn't find anyone on my account with the right masteries there's a great website. If you just type into Google Raid Masteries Calculator, I like to use Raid Bros. And yeah, this is the Masteries that I'd run with him. So really, really standard stuff going on. We're getting crit rate. We're getting crit damage. We're taking Life Drinker to keep our HP topped up. Of course, we're going to go into War Masters to help us do more damage. Um, on the support tree as well, we're doing a, things a little bit different than normal, but we want to take more accuracy and um, Swarm hitter, sorry, swarm smiter as well, gonna help increase our accuracy. Uh, Laura Steel as well, just to bump our stats up a little bit. And then Master Hexer and Sniper, you know, that HP burn is gonna increase our chance of landing HP burn by 5%. And then we've got a 30% chance to increase those debuffs as well. So instead of staying on for two turns, they will stay on for three turns, meaning we can do some more damage. So Let's uh, take him into Arena. I don't think he's going to be any good, but we can at least test him out. All right, guys, I've come up with this really free-to-play friendly team. We've got Arb, Seal of the Drakes, Oma Gaelic, and Madame. And this looks like a team that we should be able to beat quite comfortably. Um, if we don't, it's because of Oma Gaelic not being able to do his job properly. So we've stripped, we've dropped that defense and obviously decrease attack out there as well so we're going to open up with the a3 wow we actually managed to kill ronda so that wasn't too bad actually that was 30k a hit um if i compare that to like other nukes on my account we're probably looking more 70k to 100k so he's probably he's at the much much lower end but again he doesn't have helm smasher he's not in savage but he's not hitting particularly hard and I bought into the Drake Sword just to give the team a little bit of control. Wow, 41k on Ulmer Death Knight. That's actually impressed me. I was not expecting that from uh, Ulmer Gaelic. Not bad, not bad at all. I mean, 
Sprocket, you should feel ashamed of yourself to lose to Ulmer Gaelic. All right, let's just try this team underneath as well. So we are definitely a bad matchup. Uh, I think we're just going to go double nuke for this just because of, you know, it's not fair to have two force champions against us when we don't have any sort of answer. So I'm going to bring in Baracus, an old school legendary nuka, single target, not a great hitter at all. Okay, can we land a strip? Nice, nice. Oh no, we've been feared. Is it game over? Oh man, we definitely, we need a cleanser. So, oh, this is not going to end well for us. Can we, didn't land a strip either. All right, Barakas is back. Let's, yeah, so we're going to open up with A3 on Pythion. Oh, we didn't quite get the kill. Okay, come on, Ulmer Gaelic. Can you sit Michal? No, of course, Ulmer Death Knight blocked us. Okay, revive. Going to heal. Try and push back to the meter. No. Nope. Oh, man. Yeah, this is just, this is the problem with Ulmer Gaelic. He's just so outdated. And like, this is not a strong team at all. And he still did impress me with uh, being able to beat that other team. Like, I cannot believe, like, the amount of damage he was doing. I mean, that was quite impressive. Not, not bad at all, but yeah, this is definitely going to be a loss. Yeah, so he's... Oh, we're still going... Okay, we're going to boost that timing out. Let's see if we can try and get a kill with Ulmer Gaelic. Oh, that is just, he is just annoying me so much. Do you know what? I just, I just want to try one more team. Maybe it was my bad. Let's try it. Let's try like a go second team. Actually, guys, I changed my mind. We're still going to go with speed team. But we are bringing in a cleanser with Elva. So I'm hoping this should just, just so we can sort of see if we can get actually something out of, uh, out of Ulmer Gaelic. So we're opening up again with the A3. Wow. I mean, these are probably not built very well, but we did land HP burn across the board. We did a decent amount of damage. So if we can push back Pytheon, nope, and he's cleansed. Had our buff stolen. A2. From a dam. And we did manage to steal stone skin. Nice. Yeah. I feel like Ulmer Gaelic though. He's not going to be strong enough. To get the W. And yeah. It's just all single attacks now. And the problem is, is that. Ulmer Death Knight is just going to soak all of that up. Just going to whack it in a way. See if we can try and take down. Michelle. Yeah, I don't know. He's just, I think that's the problem is that he doesn't have enough in his kit to compete with today's standards. Like, and Polarium have given us loads of free champions that are just insane. Like Ronda and Wukong and even Alex, like they just smack and hit so hard. And they're completely like on another level compared to Ulmer Gaelic. They also bring a lot more to the table as well. And I just feel like, we're not going to get the win. Well, I'm going to let this run for a bit, guys, because um, I think it's been pretty boring. But I just want to see if we can try and get the win. It might be like a five-minute run, and no one wants to see that. All right, guys, I gave it like three and a half minutes. We all getting nowhere. And yeah, it, Arena is not his spot. And there are, like I said, so many better options in him. But let's see if we can actually get some use out of him in Spider. So to get this team to work, there is a little bit of setup required. So we want to make sure that Arbitar is always using our A3 first because we need to have that increased attack to learn HP burn. Miscreating Monster, he knows what he's doing. 
Uh, Omer Gaelic, we want him to prioritize A3 first, which is his AoE HP burn, then do the A2. Cold Hearts, they know what they're doing. They are programmed beautifully for this. Um, whenever the spider's HP gets a little bit too high, they will push back the turn meter with um, Heartseeker. So we're on Spider 20, and this should be really, really easy. If he can't do this, he is just the worst champion in the game. We didn't land HP burn on the spider, which is just so frustrating. Um, that It does help with so much with damage, and it makes this fight a little bit more RNG as well. So, okay, so we at least landed the HP burn with the A2 nice and pushed back that turn meter just a little bit. I think we'll do two runs just to see how it goes. But yeah, that's what I don't like about him. This is too much RNG. You know, you want a more reliable HP burn champion. And actually, you know, Ulma Gaelic must be at least four years old now. And it, the game's moved on so much since then. There are so many epic HP burn champions that can fill this role. Uh, personally, for me, I'd be using Ulma Gaelic as a last resort. Or if you've got like an early game account, you've pulled... Oh my Gaelic, then I would be using him a HP burn on Spider. But unless I pull someone better, or like another HP burn champion, I would be using them over Ultima Gaelic any day of the week. But he is sort of getting the job done. Uh, Cold Hearts are carrying him massively. I mean, if you wanted to, you could bring in a double Armager, who's um, an uncommon that you could use instead. instead of two cold hearts but obviously cold heart is like just god tier and just gonna be doing so much damage still is a little bit of a long fight i'm not gonna do two runs actually two two runs is too long too too long but yeah just need that hp burn to just tick and we are back to square one I mean, if we just brought in another HP burn champion, this would be so much easier and a lot quicker as well. All right, guys, I'm going to come back at the end of this one because it looks like it's going to be a long one. Three minutes and 40 seconds. That has to be the longest spider run I've ever seen. Yeah, ridiculously slow. Um, so he has done a decent amount of damage. Like he's done the most amount of damage, actually 5.5 million damage. But it was really slow. Um, if I brought in another HP burn champion, this would be 10 times faster. Um, you could definitely get it into like 1 minute 40, uh, knocking off 2 minutes. So yeah, really, really slow. He is in really, really good gear. Um, probably too good gear, to be honest. Um, I guess the other thing is he doesn't have mastery, so he doesn't have war master procs and stuff. And maybe there's HP burns and sniper that would help a little bit, but I just feel like he doesn't have a place in the game. This that is a very really really slow run. Three minutes forty is just insane. Let's just give him a go in dragon as well, dragon twenty, just to see what his wave clear is like. All right, so I've come up with a pretty end game team. Got Mithrala, Lydia. So obviously we've cleared Fraction Wars, we've done Hydra. Uh, we've got Brogny just to give us a bit of defense. Okay, so we've got Weaken, we've got uh, Drop Defense, we've got Hex, and we've got Increase Attack. So let's see what sort of damage, and this is Dragon 20 as well, so it's not even that high up. Let's see what sort of damage we're doing. And there's like 40 mil across the, no, 40k across the board, not 40 mil. That would be insane. So let's just let it run. I just want to see what sort of time we can get with him. Maybe it would have been a bit nice if I brought in like Renegade or something for like a reset for his um, A3. But yeah, we'll just see how fast we can get through these waves. And he's doing okay damage. Yeah, to be fair, I'm kind of a little bit impressed with the damage. Like it's more than what I thought it was going to be. Um, I'd love to see, like, I haven't used my Kale in donkeys but i imagine my kale would probably be actually better than ultimate gaelic for this just because we're throwing up poisons that we can use for the dragon 
hits really hard on his A3 as well. So without weaken and drop defense, it was sort of like 20k on a double hitter. So nothing too special, not particularly great. Yeah, did land those HP burns though, which are going to help do some damage. But again, HP burns not going to help us on dragon normal. On the boss. Yeah, and we're not... Oh, whoa, 85k on his A1. That was not bad at all, to be honest. Pretty, pretty strong. So it's taken us about two minutes, maybe a minute and a half, because I was talking a lot. But yeah, that's pretty slow. Um, I know that I could build like a team that could get to the boss and clear the boss in under 1 minute 30 with uh, Frozen Banshee. She can, she can solo dragon quite comfortably. Okay, this looks like it's going to be about a three minute run, so it's not terrible, but it's not insane. Um, I just feel like Omer Gaelic, he's not really bringing us any value. And, you know, if he was like, the, you know, if I was thinking about what's the next champion I want to six star, it would not be Omer Gaelic, that's for sure. Um, you know, you're going to want champions that are generalists, that tick loads of boxes. He's not great in arena. He's okay in spider not amazing um and then i don't know where else you could really use him you're not gonna get much out of him and let like seriously guys if you've got a, a better build or if you're using on gaelic where and how are you using him where just let me know in the comments below because honestly i just don't think he's that good like out of all of the epic star champions I think he's the worst. Um, Dark Elhain is pretty good. Uh, Dark Hale is insane. And then Dark Aethel is pretty good as well. Uh, and yeah, Omer Gaelic, he just seems to be the worst out of all of them. Yeah, he's absolutely trash. Person, I just, I don't know. I have so much hatred for this champion. I just feel like he is unusable. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of the video. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash. That's subscribe, and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.